What's happening, YouTube? It's your player partner, Dog Off Guard Powder. Thank you for tapping into my YouTube channel. I appreciate it wholeheartedly. Here on this channel, we all about self-righteousness, self-development, self-love, self-respect. And without further ado, let's get this thing going. Um, so uh, this video is going to be about being in tune with yourself, tapped in with yourself, not taking anything personal, um, loving yourself, and, and healthy detachments, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I, I'm not going to speak on what I got planned, because, you know, when you speak on what you got planned, you can hinder it, you know, but uh, I encourage my people, whoever watched this video, I encourage you to really just put yourself first. You know, challenge challenge yourself to put yourself first in all situations this year. You know what I'm saying? Um, challenge yourself to beat who you were last year. Be in a competition with yourself. Run your race at your pace. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. You keep looking forward. Keep looking forward and don't give a damn about what nobody say, think, throw your way. It's gonna be obstacles when you're on your path to greatness. Especially when you choose this path of retention. Especially when you're on a monk mode. You're gonna have a lot of obstacles and temptations and God damn it, you're gonna have this, uh, beautiful distractions coming your way. The higher you get, your presence is gonna be felt everywhere you go. Your, the environment is gonna shift. You're gonna have people screw facing at you. You're gonna have people staring at you, and, 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 and just just food for thought. The people that staring at you and they can't stop looking at you, man. Them demons, dog. Them demons looking for a way in to infiltrate you to uh, bring down your spirit. Don't let it happen. To deal with that, don't even pay attention. Don't even allow it. Don't even allow it, man. Because a demon can only infiltrate you the moment that you invite them in. You know, them, 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 them energy vampires, they can only be let into your life when you allow them to get in your life. When you literally give them permission. They can't do nothing. if you. you first of all, you got the protection of the most high. So they, they really jealous. And their job is to bring as much energy as they can to the other side, which is the devil. The negative side. And so, yes, they're going to attack you. They're going to screw face you. Because that's, that's, how, that's how they get their energy. You know what I mean? I'm talking about from the narcissistic uh, narcissistic people to the, uh, to the very, very selfish people that only think for themselves. And, and, and the manipula uh, manipulative people, just everyone that's against you, you know. And it could come from all angles, and it will come from all angles. You know, a lot of people talk about the glow and the spiritual benefits that you gain. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. That's cool. But we need more people that's talking about the other side of this, man. The the, uh, the other side of the coin, you know what I'm saying? The, other, the side where you lose friends, where you lose family members, where you lose people that you thought that was with you the whole time. But once you get that spirit of discernment, you get that 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 that, that, that rich spirit, you start seeing people for what, it, what they are for real and not what you thought it was. You know what I'm saying? And so, really keep in the back of your mind that, you know, you gotta put yourself first, man. You gotta put yourself first. Like, in all situations, man. You know what I'm saying? That's your responsibility to love yourself and put yourself first, man. Put your purpose first. First of all, you put God first before, before anything. You submit to God and you love God. That's the only thing you submit to. I mean that. It's the only, only, only source you submit to. Is go God first, family second, and you women last. <laughs> it's that simple. You know what I mean? Uh, I can keep going and going and going, man. But that's my message. Like, really, just just make sure that when you face with temptations, and you know, especially when you on your when you when you doing your stuff, and you really on your stuff, and you really just going hard every single day and you really focused because you're going to get that focus drive and you focusing on yourself like an only child long little nip when you really like that 
you really going you really gonna draw everybody to you. You give a mysterious aura about you because like, one, you're not paying attention to your environment as much as people want. Like, people place importance in your life more than you, they have, you know what I'm saying? And you know, especially when you were a chosen one or one of the chosen ones, you know what I'm saying? They definitely gonna put some importance in your life. Like, people, people uh, really get mad at you elevating because it's like, man, you was their source for happiness. You was their source. Uh, you was their safe haven. You was their person they would go to to really elevate their spirits, to uplift their spirits. So when you focusing on yourself and you doing your stuff, who else they going to go to? They try to find somebody, but they not you, my nigga. So who else they going to go to? So if they can't get you with temptation, which which they used to do, Guess what they gonna do? They gonna do it by any means, man. They gonna keep going and going because they think you playing hard to get. They think that you really just playing hard to get and you being stubborn and you holding a burden or something. They really don't think that you just focusing on yourself and you getting your things together. Right? Like, that's just real talk. That's real spill for y'all. So, you know, the word of the day is resiliency, man. Resiliency. And being able to just see through all the bullshit and just being able to just be an observer. Don't don't react, don't even respond, especially when it comes to dealing with people who got a, a demonic aura or a demonic spirit about them that you could just feel in your, in your soul, in your heart. You know what I'm saying? You really got to just be mindful of everything just you ain't gotta you ain't gotta be you ain't gotta respond you don't have to make it your responsibility to go tip for tap with anybody man just let go detach literally man the more you give things energy the more it gets stronger because it's already new levels new devils but the more you give it energy the more you feeding that don't feed it don't feed it just keep walking your path man god got you i'm telling you you know what I mean? Mm. This journey is not placebo. So for anybody that's telling you it's fake or you gonna get prostate cancer, they don't know what the hell they talking about at all. Them niggas is literally trying to get you from elevating. Just letting you know that this journey is very, 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 very real. When I say very real, I mean very, very, very real. Mm. You're gonna get attacked indirectly and direct you gonna have people cut you off you gonna have people bump bump into you on purpose um you gonna have people screw facing you you gonna have people sizing you up you gonna have a lot of you just gonna have a lot of stuff that's trying to bring you down man it's, it's that simple you know you're gonna have a lot of people in your business being intrigued that's like they 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 watch you because they really just want to know what the hell he got going. Give me something, especially if you a silent motherfucker like me, reserved person like me. You know, I barely speak to anybody because I really don't give a fuck. If you ain't my son, I ain't really trying to talk to you. What the hell we talking about? You know what I mean? Um, and you know, like when you silent and you quiet to yourself and you just, you really, me, I really be plotting. That's why I be so goddamn silent. I be having full blown conversations with myself in my head. Yeah, I got a, I got a very blank, stoic expression on my face. So you know, people just want to know what the hell is he up to. I don't don't what you worry about me for. You know what I mean? What I eat don't make you shit, and what I drink don't make you piss. Why you worry about it? <laughs> why? Why? I ain't worried about what the hell you got going on. You feel me? I'm only worried about the food that's on my plate, my nigga. That real talk. Without further ado, man, that's my message, man. The word of the day is resiliency, man. Show resiliency in all situations and watch how everything unfold. Sit back and be an observer of everything. Sit back and listen. You know what I'm saying? Boss up. Boss up, for real. Uh, and, and and to you dealing with women when you gain woman attraction, man, just, just enjoy the, int the intimacy that you having with these women without having sex you know what i'm saying enjoy the feminine energy because it's very vibrant it's very uh it's very warm you know what i'm saying it's, it's it's a great 
energy to have around you is to use for motivation. You know what I'm saying? Especially when your mind is in the gutter and you ain't thinking about, you know, sexual relations with this woman and you just really picking up her, picking at her attic just to see what the hell she really thinks about on a day to day. But when you show resiliency and you sit back and listen and you sit back and just watch, not stalk, but when you just watch when they around you and in your aura field and your environment, people are what they are on a daily basis. Whatever they doing on a daily basis, when they come around you, it will get exposed, man. Your aura is so goddamn strong. People can't hide what the hell they do behind closed doors. Remember that. So you don't have to say a fucking word. Trust me. You don't have to say a word at all regardless of what the hell they say nigga just keep it in the back of your head whatever even if they throwing shots at you do not respond do just like this and then when you walk off you'll know okay then you get to replant it the conversation in your head or you can just let the shit go because 10 times out of 10 that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let this shit go and just be like man that's you you know what i mean that ain't that ain't how you really feel about me that's how you feel about you and your and yourself you know what I'm saying? Because everything that they spewing out to you is just a reflection of how they feeling inside. Do not take it personal, man. You know what I mean? I'm a dog off gunpowder, man. I love you all. Peace.